Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Ananya. In today's video, I'll be talking about absolute snuffle count. Before beginning the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is absolute snuffle count. Absolute snuffle count is a type of blood test which is used to measure the number of one type of white cells that are snuffles. Snuffles become active when you have certain type of allergy or infections or some diseases. Now let us see how is this test performed. For this test, most of the times a sample of blood is collected from the vein which is present in your arm, especially inside of your elbow. First of all, the site is cleaned with antiseptic and then a rubber band is placed around. The band is placed so that your vein can swell and it will be easier for the provider to take the blood. A needle along with the tube will be used to prick on the skin and draw the blood. For infants and young children, we use a special kind of instrument known as lancet to prick. After the blood is withdrawn, it is sent for investigation. For the investigation, the blood is placed on the microscope slide. Later on, a stain is added and we see the number of cells. Now, how do you prepare for the test? Most of the times, there is no need for special preparation for this test. But it is very important for you to tell your doctor about all the medications which you are taking, including the ODCs, because some of the medicines can alter or change the results. Some of the medicines that can alter or change the results or number of snowfills in the test include some laxatives, interferons, certain antibiotics, some medicines that suppress the appetite, and some tranquilizers. How will you feel during the test? As I told you, this test is quite simple and we only need to withdraw the blood. You will only feel a little sting on the skin while the blood is taken. Other than that, it's very normal. Now, why is this test performed? Sometimes, this test is done along with the other test. If the value of other tests show abnormal results, your doctor will ask you to get this done. Also, sometimes if doctor sees that there is any risk of specific diseases, he will ask you to get it. This test can help to diagnose Addison's disease, to check if there is any infection from the parasite, or if there is any allergic reaction, or if you have acute hyperisnophilic syndrome, which is a very rare condition but is very fatal. Now, what do the results interpret? Normal isnophilic count is less than 500 cells per microliter. But sometimes the range of normal values differs from laboratory to laboratory. If you have value more than 500, it means the result is abnormal. Abnormal results may be because of adrenal diseases, asthma, autoimmune diseases, eczema, parasitical infections or fungal infections. Sometimes, your snuffilic count is very low. This is because of alcohol intoxication. Sometimes, overproduction of steroids such as cortisol hormone can also result in low snuffilic count. So what are the risks involved in this test? This test is very simple as it only needs blood sample. So this test is considerably safe. Now, there's one more thing which a lot of patients ask. Can this test tell which type of infection do we have? So this test only tells about the rise in number of isnophilic cells, which means it only indicates that there is infection. This test can never tell what type of infection is it or how it is caused. So along with the signs and symptoms, that is your history of illness and the test done, your doctor will interpret and will talk with you to develop a best treatment method that works for you. A quick reminder, it is very important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down. Stay safe and stay healthy.